It's common knowledge that companies that grow their sales are more successful than those who don't. For companies to continue to grow, they need to expand where they offer their products. Companies that generate a large portion of their business outside the United States are poised for greater growth potential than their domestic-only counterparts. This is in part due to the greater opportunity in the larger global market. But these companies must have the resources and capacity to successfully expand their business internationally. U.S. companies with global reach tend to grow their sales and earnings more than companies who only conduct business domestically. These companies also tend to have higher free cash flow growth, which is a sign of a company's profitability. The Pacer U.S. Export Leaders ETF PEXL, offers exposure to the top 100 companies of the S&P 900 in terms of global sales potential and free cash flow growth, which is rebalanced quarterly. Though this strategy is not guaranteed and owning export leaders may present foreign sales risk, such as currency, political, and economic changes, it gives investors the chance to diversify their portfolio without actually owning international companies. As an individual investor, you may have to sell a stock to buy another and pay tax on gains. But the ETF wrapper allows for greater tax efficiency than other investment products. To learn more, speak to your financial advisor or visit paceretfs.com slash products slash P-E-X-L now. An investment in the funds is subject to investment risk, including the possible loss of principal. Pacer ETF shares may be bought and sold on an exchange through a brokerage account. Brokerage commissions and ETF expenses will reduce investment returns. There can be no assurance that an active trading market for ETF shares will be developed or maintained. The risks associated with this funds are detailed in the prospectus and could include factors such as concentration risk, equity market risk, foreign sales risk, large and mid-capitalization investing risk, limited operating history risk, non-diversification risk, passive investment risk, sector risk, tracking risk, and or special risks of exchange-traded funds.